Welcome, kings and queens, to another episode of Unapologetic, your number one podcast. This is the show where kings and queens tell their legacies and on. So get ready for the gems to drop and pull up to the table because we're ready. The GOAT. The one GOAT my all day. Rap man. Right. Shout out to so, him. <laughs> so, so in, in the midst of doing all these concerts, yeah. the light clicked off in my head, right? So the light was like, hmm, I'm doing all these concerts. I'm interviewing the, the entertainers. So I was like, I wonder if people would like to read about it, right? So right then and there, I had the thought, you know what? I'm going to start me a magazine. Out the blue, I just said, I'm going to start me a magazine. So me being already proficient in Photoshop and, and some Adobe products, I actually took a class on InDesign. Mm. So InDesign is a is a is a page layout. Right. So it tells you how to, I mean, I could I could create a book right now, lay out a whole book, you know, for right. an author right. or for I can lay it out because that InDesign program is made for page layout. Wow. Right. So it's it's all in, like you say, the knowledge and the software and things of that nature. So I took a class. Um, learn how to enhance my skills in InDesign. So I created a magazine called Liquid Arts and Entertainment. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So Liquid Liquid Arts and Entertainment. So um, that was the first magazine I started. How did and you it, come up with the name? Sorry to cut you. What? <laughs> did the, what a minute. <laughs> I had to really like stop myself and like okay did you say liquid arts and i read it i've seen the magazine and i still can't believe what it like it's unique where well, did that you, name come from you know it, it it's a simple uh explanation so if you took a glass of water okay. and you poured it on a flat surface right mm -hmm. the water is going to go left right backwards forward it's just going to go in multiple directions okay Right. So I wanted the I wanted the people that I interviewed to be of all different stages of entertainment. Ooh. You know what I mean? Ooh. It, it, it didn't matter your race, your nation nationality. If you were popping, I wanted to interview you. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like <laughs> so that. that that's like kind of where that. it came from because this is it's spreading everywhere. So I want to hit you, 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 and you. And believe it or not, I started off with like I would call them. C-list celebrities, right? Okay. C-list celebrities, but then next thing you know, I'm getting A-list celebrities. Mm. Like yeah, so, me, me and my guy Joe Walker. You know, I don't know if you know Joe Walker. Joe Walker. Yeah. So I, Joe I've Walker, probably seen him and met him and don't yeah, know. He's he's a journalist in in the past. Yeah. Yeah. He he's a journalist from Muskegon, but he lives in Lansing. And you know he he he's he's the goat to me when it comes to that pen. You know, he would put it right together stuff. like woo. <laughs> <laughs> so so he's the goat. Okay. So so I'm I'm gonna take my. I'm gonna show you something real quick. I'm gonna take my webcam. I'm gonna turn it around up against the wall. Okay. And I'm gonna let you see three posters that I have from Liquid Magazine. Real what quick. we got? Oh, we said some exclusive stuff, y'all. Yeah, yeah, definitely like exclusive. That. So check this out. Still, oh my God, Q! Oh, Q. Uh, he yes, sir. He didn't kill me with the Q. Q, L. Varner, and jazz musician and from the so UK. Gorgeous. Shout out to Ali Silk. Oh my God, and these are. Yeah, these are the golden globes you sit you post you post on the uh, on the wall and stuff, just so everybody can see we walk in the office like, oh my god! Right, right, right. This is what I. <laughs> oh my god! This is I'm in the field of greatness. <laughs> this is what it is. I, I appreciate that. Thank you, man. So, so now my my liquid magazine, you know, I ran that for seven years, and the last. Three years, I think it was over a million views each year. Wow. Yeah. Over a mil. Over a mil. 
I don't know yeah. what to say to that, but o over a meal. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Oh shit, I don't know. That's incredible. So what what made you like are you still doing this this a magazine? Or well, I'm, I'm I'm still doing it, but I, I transitioned it to Grander, right? Okay. So so Grander Grander magazine actually started off for the city of Grand Rapids. You know, okay. So it was it was mostly interviewing. I was mostly interviewing people in the city of Grand Rapids. Mm. But then after about a year or two, I said, you know what? I'm just going to open it up to everybody. So I'm taking the same model as I did with Liquid and bringing it to Grand Rapids. So it's wide open for any and everybody at this point. Wow. And how's that been going for you for that? Since yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty good. It's, it's a... I would say these days it's more of a slower process because it, it's just me. And maybe I have a writer here and a writer there. Right. But, it, but it's just, it's just me. And, and when you, when you're doing a project by yourself, Ooh. it's, it's, you don't it's tough. It. Yeah. 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 It, it's tough. So yeah. you know, if you, you create it, you design it, you do the page layout, you do the website, you do everything, you know, so it's, it, it takes a little longer, but, but the job gets done. And it, and, and I've seen a lot of your work, man. It's it, it's all it's almost. I was just about to ask you that, man. What's your team like? But you are the team. I am the team, right? <laughs> you are the team. So it's like uh, the it shows how tedious. You uh, not normally use the word tedious, but how accurate you are with certain layouts, certain right. colors. You know, right. everything has a calming. Because I've seen certain magazines that, you know, people are creating and shout out to all the ones who are creating it, you know, making it happen. But for me personally, it's the colors. So if I see something that's constantly like vibrant and colorful, after a while, my eyes start to hurt because it's like, okay. OK, what is the what is the thing that you're trying to make me see? Is, okay. there, is there a, you know, a, a point of view with this type of picture and, and what story is it telling? You know, and if, if it's not telling a story, maybe it's a, um, what's that art? Well, I'm trying to be artsy and stuff. Uh, abstract art. Okay, yeah, abstract, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's the abstract. See, y'all, I'm learning, I'm learning. So it's like, what is going on with the the, the whole ordeal? And I see that when, with your magazine, is it's like, I know where I'm going, who's it about? And if there is a surprise, and you have some surprises within your within it. I've been noticing. Right. It it, it brings everything together. You know right. What I'm so it, I like how you tell that story within with your magazine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I try to I try to make uh, everything come together. As a matter of fact, everything that I do in media, it all works hand in hand. Which each of my entities actually, you know the the. the the podcast, if I do one, works with the radio. The radio works with the magazine. The magazine works with the photography. It Man. all correlates and work together. Yeah. You know? That's that see, you don't get that no more. Everybody's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, everybody do it, which which is good. You know, you can do that. Shout out to you. But to hear it you, you instead of hearing checkers, I'm hearing checks. Right. Or pie cho. If it, people know it, pie cho. It, so, it all work. It all works together. I mean, because I can, I can talk about the magazine on the radio. I can write about the music in the magazine. I can show the pictures, man. Uh, whatever. So it it all works together. So what is the what part of this whole process that you love the most? You know what I'm saying? Like, Ooh. what what's <laughs> that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I I think the I think just the, the creating part, mm. you know, just, just being creative and doing what I love, you know, because I, I look at the photos. Now, if I never, let's say I stopped taking photos for profit, right? Okay. I would still take photos mm. because I love it. That's what I love. That's that passion. I, I love cameras and photos and photography and history and shooting this one today and looking back at it 20 years later remember when you right. know 
I love that. Putting photo books together just to have images printed. You know, people don't print photos these days. No, everything digital. Everything is digital until Everything. that hard drive breaks, that phone <laughs> falls in in the water. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And now you lost your pictures of uh, grandma and granddad. Man, now you think about it. You go to you go to granny house right now. She got pictures all up and down the wall. Man, underneath stuff and boxes <laughs> underneath right. the table, like you know. So yeah, I, I value the printed yeah. image. I value. it. You know, because you just and a photo can last you a lifetime, right? As long as the house don't burn down <laughs> and it doesn't get wet, you know. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. That's real. A phone can be going to the instant. You could drop it and be it. You right, and, it, and it's over with. Right. And, right, and it's amazing that you know. I love to hear that because. You know, me growing up, I'm a 90s, early 90s baby. You know, people, yes, it is what it is. And I remember having a camera where mm -hmm. I can take a photo and, a, and it comes out at the bottom. Yeah, the That was works. hot back in the day. Right. You know what I mean? Now if I tell, I talk to my kids about it and they like, what is that? Like, right. this is a dinosaur. I'm like, whoa, I ain't even that old. Step back a little bit. Right. Step back a little bit. But to see how far each generation has jumped, mm -hmm. I, I understand the gap between the history. Like, this, it's not that long ago. But to another generation, it's like, man, that was a hundred and so years ago. Like, wow. But, so, but you know, you, you, you have to, for me, you, you, you have to expose them to the past. And, th and then bring them back to the future. So it's kind of like, like jazz, right? Mm. The average person doesn't listen to jazz, but if no one listened to it, it dies out. Right. So for me, I kind of want to keep that historical point and keep it fresh in my mind. So right. it doesn't, so it, so it doesn't uh, fade away. Mm. You know, so like yeah. my son is, my son is 19. And some days I catch him listening to some old school stuff that I listened to when I was young. I'm like, what you know about that? But I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm glad he listens to it, though. Yeah. You know, because it's, it, let me let me just say this. I'm just going to go with the rappers, right? A lot of today's rappers do not know where the history started from. They don't know who the artists were. I believe that. And when they play these new songs, I'm like, well, that came from 20 years ago with that beat. Yeah. Yeah. And that song. You know yep. what I'm saying? A <laughs> like lot I of them don't know that. One. Or, <laughs> right. Or, you know, it's just, yeah, you're absolutely right. And it's crazy how, you know, being in a world of media, I always say that we have the control of, of showing you the future, the present, and the past. Right. Like we're the gatekeepers, and I love media. Since I've been in media, I've been like infatuated with it. Okay. And so, with you, and I've been studying and watching how you've been doing it, and 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 it's like, man, it's almost like he's a gatekeeper of time. You know, you, you can freeze frame what you want, you can cut out what you don't like, and then I, as the process goes, now that I'm hearing the process of how you be how it, it grew, it's. That right there is a monumental story, just as it and in itself, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And that's only because of you know each level that you was telling us that you presented to to us got grander. I like right. the word grander than the next. Right. And so, in doing so, it it created the world of <laughs> radio talk show interviewer. You know you. Put your lay own label on it, y'all. But right. you it created a legacy. Yeah, you know, and 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 I wanted to go further and further and and you know, telling stories. So like even even in the, the grander magazine, you know, I'm I'm starting to incorporate my hometown, Muskegon, into the magazine. I'm starting to get their stories to put in the magazine. Yeah, you who know, did you put in the magazine previously? Uh from Muskegon? Yes. I, I can't uh, can't remember. Um, uh, um, Tracy Bruce. Yeah, she was she was just in it. Yeah, 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, wow, man. And the, and the story was nice. 